Do you guys remember? Like I, I, I mentioned to several people that uh, we've been a lot of us, a lot of pro, 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 a lot of us in progressive media. We do our research. We read papers, not only American papers, but papers overseas, reliable, reputable papers overseas. We got State Four from uh, from uh, France. We also have Haratz from uh, Israel and many other rags, right? A uh, few British rags, etc. And long before America, who has just jumped on the wagon, has been saying that Netanyahu is a war criminal who disregards the United States of America, who doesn't give a hoot about us or what blowback we can get. He just does whatever he wants in Israel. In fact, he is directly responsible for the 1,200 Israeli killed by Hamas in the worst terrorist attack on Israel since the Holocaust. Netanyahu is responsible for that, given that he allowed the funding of Hamas. We've been talking about this for a long time. I actually got a ban for one week at the Daily Coast because I said sem- several truths about Netanyahu and they claim it was uncorroborated, even though I was saying that as the journalist, because of all that I had read all over the place from reputable sources. And by the way, uh, my reputation stands, uh, I'm talking about my blog, EgbertoWillies.com, stands much with a much higher score than many of the other places that I, that I put my articles at. Okay? So got banned. People didn't want to accept that Netanyahu is the crook, the criminal, the murderer that he is. Well, it's coming to pass now. And when you have somebody like Joe Scarborough echoing this, if, if ever so slowly, it makes the point. Netanyahu is not a partner. Netanyahu is an evil being. Netanyahu is killing people. And as long as Biden uh, just keep saying, please stop, please stop, please stop. Then uh, all that blowback is coming to us. Now, let's hear it from the words directly from an Israeli executive, an Israeli diplomat as far as as their intent. You thought that we were making this stuff up? Check this out and we'll take it on the other side. Israel's ambassador to the UK reaffirmed that statement in an interview with Sky News, adding that a two-state solution with the Palestinians is not possible. Take a listen. We know we cannot negotiate with Hamas. It means we need to have a better future for the Palestinians. And in order to achieve that, you two need state to do what, solution. what you Is there did. still a chance for a two-state solution? I think it's about time for the world to realize the Oslo paradigm failed on the 7th but, of October, and we need to build a new one. And in order to build a new one... Does that new one include the Palestinians living in a state of their own. Is, think, is that what it includes? I think the biggest question is what type of Palestinians are on the other side? This is what Israel no, realized they in have 7 a state, of The answer is absolutely no, and I'll tell you why. Well, then because how can at there the be moment, peace? No, I'll answer peace in you. The reason there is no peace Israel. is because the Palestinians... How can, with, without offering Mark, a state to Palestine, how Mark, can there be peace in Israel? Israel knows today, and the world should know now, the reason the Oslo Accords failed is because the Palestinians never wanted to have a state next to Israel. They want to have a state from the river to the sea. So the two state solution connect- is dead. Why are you obsessed with a formula that never worked, that created this radical people in the other side? Why are you obsessed with that? Think about it. Is that normal to carry on with a solution that never worked in the past? Okay. The Palestinians kept on denying, and now it will create another terror state. Israel is not interested Final. in that. Israel is not interested in that. We are not interested in this two-state solution. And But you know what? They have already gone to the UN and showed what their map looks like. And it included no Palestine. It was the entire region was Israel with a population that would never become citizens of Israel. In other words, it, Israel as an official apartheid state. No other way to put it. An oppressor an official apartheid state. If you're going to say there's no two-state solution and you have several million Palestinians in your, in, under your jurisdiction and cannot vote or do not have equal access, what is that if it's not an apartheid state? She just admitted, she just admitted that their goal is for, in fact, an apartheid state. 
She didn't quite say it in words, but the ultimate the outcome of that is nothing more than an apartheid state. Yes, some citizens are Israeli citizens. I mean, uh, some Palestinians are Israeli citizens. But guess what? The, the idea is to isolate as many of them outside of territorial or, or, or Israel proper and throw them into occupied lands and then occupy as much of the occupied lands as territories so that in effect you throw them onto. Do you remember in, in South Africa what is a Bantustan? Look it up, please. Everybody, look up Bantustan. That is how it looked in, 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 in South Africa, and that is how it's looking in Israel. Please, everybody, look up that word, Bantustan. That's where the, 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 the people who were the real citizens, that should have been the real citizens of South Africa, that's where they were placed, in the Bantustan. Okay? I, I'm waiting for somebody to say, oh, I didn't know that. I didn't realize that. And you can look, occupied territory, Bantustan. Occupied territory, Bantustan. Please look it up. Look it up, please. Okay? And, and tell me if you don't see the congruency between what's occurring in Israel, what Israel is pretty much saying. Because remember, uh, she just said there will be no two-state solution. But those Palestinians are not going anywhere so they were, that means there will remain a, an area for Palestinians who cannot vote on their freedoms, who cannot vote to rule themselves. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to, trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.